Hello there, this is an energy reading for the sign of Sagittarius and this is for the week of the 8th of August onwards and I've decided to change it up a little bit and I'll use some oracle cards and so let's see, I'm going to pick three cards and then we'll take it further with the reading and maybe even pick a clarifying card. So let me just shuffle, and this is for the sign of Sagittarius. Let's pick three to see what kind of messages we get. Alright, so in Oracle reading, we don't, you know, read the reverse. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to start with the first card. Alright, so a new romantic cycle begins. Now, this is a general reading everyone so um, take it as it resonates and for some of you it may feel uh, much more real for you and for others um, whatever messages resonate with you just take it um, then leave the rest right so a new romantic cycle begins does not necessarily mean a romantic love or getting into a new romance it does not mean that it's about the energy and the frequency so romantic cycle could also mean uh, creativity in a romantic way or adopting a romantic view of life, um, having adopting a worldview that is more romantic. And so it is a little bit um, poetic, uh, dreamy, creative, and this could be an awakening of the romantic side of yourself. All right, so I'd like you to be able to take the word uh, romance and uh, see it from a much bigger perspective. It's not just about uh, romantic love. Okay, so this is the new energy coming in for you. And if you feel uh, particularly creative or you're looking at the world um, through a different lens at this point in time, this energy supports you during this week. Let's look at the second card. So certainly... Um, stepping out of your comfort zone. Now, this is um, as it is, right? So um, the North Node, usually this is like your guiding light. It is the star that guides you. And so you may find yourself stepping out of your comfort zone, whether it's your personal life or for your workspace. But I'm getting a sense, um, Sagittarius, that this has a lot to do with your entire perspective of life. It is changing you are the adventurer and usually some, you know, for a sign such as Sagittarius, you are very, very adventurous to begin with and you are very comfortable in stepping out of your comfort zone. But this particular energy seems to indicate that you are going to take an even bigger leap than you have ever done before. And this is going to completely change your entire um perhaps perspective of, on life. And I find that this may be um, connected to the first card that we got about having a romantic view or romantic cycle beginning. So let's see what the third card says. Walk, work through your fears. So as you enter a new cycle, fears may surface and mm -hmm. it is very normal, very natural for this to take place. So being an adventurer, Sagittarius, this should not be a big problem for you. Um, just watch out for when you sell, you try to um, talk yourself out of working through your fears. Sagittarius, um, you are, you know, you are very brave and courageous in your energies and working through your fears should not be something that you would usually uh, back out of. However, um, the people around you may convince you otherwise. Situations in life may convince you otherwise. So just keep that in mind. Uh, work through your fears. This week is highly supportive of this. And so let's pick a clarifying card and see what we get. And see uh, what kind of energies may support you further or maybe even clarify um, the messages that we got so far. So I'm going to pick one in the middle. What passion am I ready to pursue? Now, this is a beautiful one. It means that you are really entering a new cycle, a new cycle where your passions uh, may be reignited and an old passion as well, Sagittarius, uh, maybe even a new one, okay? 
So your passions will continually lead you to your purpose. So Sagittarius, you are constantly driven by your passion. It will lead you to your purpose. Always remember this. So write a list of passions to which you want to give life right now. And even your old ones, you know, maybe you have let them go because, um, you know, Sagittarius, I think you tend to be easily distracted as well. So it's time to come back. Trust your soul's whispering and allow your passions to draw you towards your dream life. All right, so Sagittarius, I hope that this reading is serving you well and will continue to serve you throughout the week. Have a wonderful week. Enjoy yourself and speak to you again soon.